さいのに一人で旅をしてきたなんてねろくに食べてない感じだな体が細すぎるあの子は気を使いすぎる休むと言った時の不安そうな顔でいるようだもっとも俺たちにはどうすることもできないが Another week Another banger of Weakest Tamer. Last week I expressed that I really, really, really loved last week's episode. I thought it was really fantastic. And I think this week was another fantastic follow up to last week's episode in episode number seven. Last week really focused and honed in on really curated and good writing with an Ivy being in a solidated area, being in. This one little town, and the town kind of taking care of Ivy, watching over her from the people to the guards and everything. Tugged at the heartstrings as well. This episode, again, really, really did a good job of tugging at the heartstrings, especially at the end of the episode. And I'm coming to find that I think where Weakest Tamer really shines the most is. The people that Ivy will meet on her continuation of her journey to wherever she's going to end up going. And the show is continually, and you know it's going to end at some point, but the show's continually putting adults that can understand and empathize with the pain that she's gone through. And I love it for that because this episode put together this band of dudes. And at the end, they were like, you can tell that Ivy's gone through some trauma. Like she's fearful and hesitant and malnourished. And they can just see that. And it's nice to see really good characters kind of surround, you know, our little MC. You know, she's this little eight year old girl. And, uh, or yeah, eight year old girl. And it's fantastic to see these,、uh, these adults. Who are adulting the right way. And even though there is a exorbitant, how do you call it, rift between the stars and between people's magical abilities and stuff, it seemingly keeps putting adults who understand that, okay, yeah, there could be this, you know, all these rifts, and it, but it's continually putting adults that understand this is a, it's a baby, it's a child. And I love to see that because it, it tells you that although her village and her father and her town is corrupt and only abides by the stars and pieces of shit, that there's people in this world who, even if they knew the truth, they wouldn't treat her any different because she's a kid. And just this episode, she showed that not only can she survive on her own. But she's also an awesome cook at eight years old. So, you know, there are certain skills that can transcend somebody's innate ability or their lack thereof. So, really, really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really, really cute.、Uh, I was really worried about our, our Black Panther friend. Thankfully, she was okay.、Um, you know, she faced, you know, I faced some ogres. And the panther went and, and saved her from it. And I was like, oh no, what's going to happen to her? And thankfully, they showed her coming back at the end. And thankfully, she kind of got the picture. She got two and two. And she's kind of staying outside of the village, kind of like watching over Ivy from afar. And my only, I guess if I were to say one nitpick of the episode, like if, I, if I were to choose, like, okay, here's the one thing. That kind of stood out to me as, like, well, you know, this could have been better or something like that. It's the Panther herself, Senna, you know, Sina, Senna, whatever the Panther's name is. And that's the fact that、uh, Ivy had told us pretty early on that it would take two or three, maybe four powerful adventures to take her down. She fought a single ogre and she didn't get taken down, but she also didn't like overpower it and like, you know, demolish it, you know, either. So that's kind of my one nitpick. It's like, okay, it, the, these adventurers seemed pretty powerful to take on this group of, of ogres. But if her panther tamer friend, whatever, her, her panther fiend or whatever you call it,、uh, confidant or, you know,、uh, familiar, that's the word I'm looking for. We got there, friends. If her panther familiar 
didn't easily overcome this ogre, but these adventurers did, like, you know, what, is she that power? It's like, you know what I mean? Like, i interested in know more about that. Uh, then, obviously, her slime, you know, his her slime has evolved, and that's really cool to see as well, too. So, you know, hopefully she can find a, 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 a balance to travel with her panther. But anyways, overall, though, I thought uh, this episode of Because Tamer was really fantastic. Again, it really tugged at those heartstrings at the end. It got me a little bit emotional, like when they were talking about, like, you know, she's malnourished and she's been through some stuff. And, uh, you know, she lit up when I said, hey, we could do this thing together. I was like, oh, these guys get it. Like, this is really cool stuff. And that's how you should go. And that's how you should treat a kid. So definitely love seeing that. And I think this is where this show shines the most is showing her interact with people who are in pieces of crap. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week, my friends. Peace.